The COVID-19 pandemic has put companies all around the world under extreme pressure. Headlines about shortened work weeks, temporary layoffs and permanent company closure still dominate the news. How are German vocational education and training programs abroad impacted by these uncertainties? Have companies adjusted their priorities away from vocational training? Or is the continuation of such programs part of their post-COVID strategy? For a discussion on future-proofing German vocational education and training abroad, during and beyond the COVID-19 pandemic, I am joined by Steffen Bayer. He is the Director for German Vocational Education and Training Abroad at the Association of German Chambers of Commerce and Industry. Steffen, it's a pleasure to have you here. Hello, Jana. It's really nice to hear you again. It's a pleasure to be here with you today. Steffen, can you briefly explain to our listeners how German Chambers Abroad support vocational training efforts in their respective countries? Sure. Chambers of Commerce and Industry Abroad, shortly AHKs, they are some sort of service provider to companies that run dual vocational education and training programs abroad. And they are also service provider to public institutions that are, for example, interested in adopting elements of dual vocational education and training into national structures. So AHKs, Chambers Abroad, they take care of VET issues, like, for example, advising companies and their partners in running VET programs, they consult them, they help to find out the prerequisites and to organize strategies. The chambers help in advising the companies about needed equipments and operational processes, more or less all questions around setting up and operating dual vocation education and training programs. So AHKs are part of the worldwide AHK, IHK, DHK network, which actually is a chamber network, not only in Germany, but also worldwide. And our chamber network, that stands for expertise and competences regarding dual vocation, education and training, because in Germany, the chambers are so-called competent bodies. In a matter of fact, they have the know-how how dual vocational training programs are operated best and close to the needs of the companies. This is indeed dual vocation education and training made in Germany, so to say, and AHK's chambers abroad, like your ones in the Philippines, are the competent partners for quality assurance. That, in a nutshell, explain. It is quite a list of services that AHK's provide to their member companies abroad. How are these services impacted by COVID-19 and what challenges in training continuity have you gathered from different AHK's around the world? Oh, well, COVID-19 has unsettled not only the people, but also the economy, as everybody knows. And we all know about the economic collapse that stroke the world simultaneously this year. And uh, companies, consequently, they reconsider their demand on qualified laborers. And that also in the line uh, with reconsidering their training activities and capacities. They have to do so in the way they have to reconsider all their investments. In a matter of fact, some companies indeed reduce their training capacities and also shut down training programs or put them temporarily on ice. That, of course, also hits the AHKs that are the service provider in that field, and not only in the Philippines, but also in Asia, in Europe, in Middle East, in Africa, North and South America. So it's a global challenge and a huge challenge, not only for the people, not only for the companies, but also for the AHK worldwide network. How does the Association of German Chambers of Industry and Commerce in Germany, or the DIHK for short, support the Chambers abroad in their vocational training challenges these days? The DIHK is more or less the umbrella organization of the German Chambers here in Germany and also the bilateral Chambers abroad. So we are coordinating the AHK network worldwide in 92 countries with over 140 offices. 
The Federal Ministry of Economic Affairs and Energy is partly funding the AHK network due to promoting the German foreign trade promotion. And the AHK and the ministry are working even harder in these days to help the AHKs in order to compensate losses of income in different fields of services. Concretely spoken about vocational education and training service, the AHK also supports the AHK network with special services in the field of dual vocational education and training. We founded a competence center here in Germany. It's called a DIHK competence center in order to bind together like our different offers in helping AHK's customers and, and companies. For example, we provide educational programs which are ready to be used in a virtual way or also in terms of assessments and uh, conducting examinations. We work to set up online assessment formats, for example. Steffen, do you think vocational training can actually cushion the economic impact of the crisis? Well, yeah, definitely. I mean, education, especially vocational education and training is always, it's always good and helps. Well-qualified people are crucial for uh, the fast recovery after the crisis anyway. So therefore, it's uh, very much recommended to continue qualifying people despite the economical challenges that many companies face. But how can companies continue to provide good quality training when there are social distancing regulations during this COVID pandemic? Well, of course, it depends. It depends on the branch. It depends on the profession, the profile, the partners. Generally spoken, it's important to obey distance and hygiene rules as everywhere. And AHKs will help and advise companies in a certain local surrounding and circumstances how to maintain programs. We also work to enrich qualification programs like, for example, the Train the Trainer program to give advices and tips and hints regarding the special new requirements due to COVID challenges. Most important, of course, is that the schools also as a dual partner are involved in all these activities to gain an interlock cooperation. In many cases, schools are locked down, but companies still can provide training programs. So then the chambers can help to find alternatives or to interlink the training which takes place in a company like virtual formats of, of training that might be offered and provided by the schools. These activities have to be harmonized and here Chambers help and it's a very good way to maintain and to continue good vocation education and training. Steffen, have you observed any adjustments or changes in attitude toward vocational training from within the German Chamber network abroad due to COVID-19? Yes, Jana, of course. The worldwide network of chambers, as I explained, are present in more or less all parts of the globe. 45 chambers of commerce and industry abroad provide services and vocational education and training. You know, the things that I explained, like providing services following the comparable standards and also having a recognition value of these services. And one of these services is also to contain or provide so-called VET boards, vocational education and training boards. Every chamber that provides services and your vocational education and training also operates a VET board. Members of the VET board are companies and here, of course, we have our ears very close to the demands and necessities, requirements and challenges that companies face. And via our network, we observe and support and share these new developments, new trends. And for that reason, I truly can answer this question with yes, there are many adjustments and changes in the field of vocational education and training demands of companies. So what do you think, what kind of adjustments that you just mentioned, or do you think will be here to stay then after the pandemic? Well, what kind of trends? Your first part of the question. First of all, we notice an increasing interest of the companies in the field of more short terms or also further VET programs. In uncertain times, these shorter programs are more manageable and more flexible for companies also to handle. Second trend that we notice, of course, as everywhere else, we notice a strong increase of virtual formats for training and processes and other proposals of the chambers that they have in their portfolio. 
Generally spoken, digitalization definitely will help to improve and further develop valuable dual vocation education and training programs. In a matter of fact, it makes them more resilient and also future-proof. Looking ahead, I'm pretty sure that many of the so far experimental formats that we test out at the moment will grow up to long-lasting and sustainable formats. This is what I'm really convinced of. Well, Steffen, thank you so much for your insights here into the vocational education and training processes, trends and adjustments abroad, given that we are all struggling with this uh, current ongoing pandemic. Thank you so much for joining us today and have a good day ahead. Thank you, Jana. All the best readings and stay healthy. Mm -hmm.